Hello everyone, welcome to our talk. So I am Mang Mang Cai, new way Ming Lao Bu, and uh, this video is FAQs about NIW green card. So previously we recorded similar videos, however, there have been some updates and the people have been asking the same kind of questions again and again. So for NIW, as you know, it stands for National Interest Waiver, and it is a popular way to get your green card. Uh, it does not require employer sponsorship, and you can apply either from inside the U.S. or from outside of the U.S. And if you were born outside of mainland China and India, usually you can receive your green card within a relatively short period of time. So if you want to have your background assessed, you can email us a copy of your CV and the background information, and we can provide free evaluation. And we can also discuss with you over the phone regarding your qualifications. So in the past, we have noticed that there are some commonly asked questions focusing on, well, like the time frame, the procedure, the steps, uh, how much it may cost, and uh, other stuff like uh, how can I add my family members, well, what are other important factors to consider, etc. So first, well, am I qualified for IW? Well, of course, this is case by case, so send us your background information. Generally speaking, if you are a researcher, a scientist, a professional, or like an engineer, physician, uh, artist, you may already qualify for NIW. Uh, usually, you need to have some specific contributions to your field of expertise with documented accomplishments such as publications of scholarly papers, citations to your works, etc. You do not have to have a PhD degree. Of course, like a doctorate degree will help. Now someone will ask, well, if I apply an IW, how can I add my spouse and the child? Will there be extra charge? So the fact is, an IW is an employment-based green card. It is for individual, so the form that you fill and submit is called I-140. So before you and your family members receive the green card, there will be another step. If you are inside the U.S., it is called I-485. If you are outside of the U.S., you can go through so-called consular processing to obtain your immigrant visa. So generally, the step is uh, after you prepare and file the NIW I-140. Both you and your immediate family members can later file either I-485 or go through consular processing based on your already filed NIW I-140. So how much will it be? The government, like the USCIS, charges $1,225 as of now uh, for each adult and $750 for each child under 14. So the fee may go up later if you file an F-85 inside the U.S. If you go through consular processing, currently the U.S. government charges $345 each in the beginning and around $220 for each person after issuance of the immigrant visa. So then the next question is, well, how long it may take for me from the start to receiving my green card? Well, if you go through NIW, uh, of course, it's case by case, but if you are already inside the U.S., it may take anywhere from one year to one and a half year for you to receive your green card. If you are outside of the U.S., it may take a little longer, say one and a half to two years from start to receive your green card. Of course, that assumes there is no delay on your side. And then... Uh, someone may ask, well, I heard there is something, maybe a prestigious category called EB-1. Uh, why shouldn't I apply EB-1 uh, instead of IW? Well, yes, uh, EB-1 usually stands for Alien of Extraordinary Ability, and uh, it is more difficult to be approved than IW. Say, for example, if you are a researcher, well, if you have three, four publications, a couple dozen citations to your works, then you may already qualify for NIW. But for EB-1 approval, you may need several hundred citations to your publications. 
and you may need to publish overall more research papers. So uh, in a lot of cases, it makes more sense to apply NIW instead of EB1. And as mentioned earlier, as long as you, you or your spouse were born outside of China and India, then you can usually receive your green card within a short period of time. So let's say if I start now, when can I expect to submit my application? Again, it's case by case. And if there is no delay on your side, usually we can complete the preparation and submit the application within say two to three months. And what will happen after that? Well, if you use the regular processing, it may take several months from the beginning to approval of your case. Also recently, the government, the USCIS allows premium processing for NIW, for which they will charge an additional governmental fee of $2,500. And in exchange, your case will be adjudicated within 45 days. Well, there's no guarantee for approval. You may either be approved or receive like a request for evidence. And after you submit a response to the request for evidence, it will take another uh, up to 45 days for approval or denial of the case. And uh, what will be the regular fee for the NIW? Well, as of now, uh, that fee is $700 charged by the government. It may subject to change later. So how much we as a New Wei Ming Law Group charge for the NIW preparation? Again, it's case by case based on your background. The euro is several thousand dollars and we charge in two installments, one in the beginning and one later at the time of submission of the case. As we mentioned earlier, there are two steps for your employment-based green card. One is the NIW I-140. The other, say if you are inside the US, is I-485. So can I submit both at the same time or concurrently? The answer used to be yes. But in recent months, probably because there are more and more applicants, now after submission of your NIW I-140, you will need to wait several months before submission of the 485. Well, you can wait until your NIW is approved, or you can submit I-485 while the NIW is pending. Either way is okay. If you wait until the NIW I-140 is approved, then you remove some uncertainty. You can rest assured knowing there will not be surprise. However, some applicants may not want to wait that long. Now they may want to submit the application as soon as possible based on your specific need and background. So some will ask, well, when can I and uh, my family members receive the employment authorization or EAD? Generally referred to the I-485 based EAD. The application can be submitted together with I-485. So say the normal sequence steps is like that. You prepare NIW I-140 first, then you submit NIW I-140. Then several months later, you can submit I-485 together with your family members. And at the same time, you can apply the I-485 based EAD. After several months, you will receive the EAD and then you can work for any employer in the US. The same for your family members who also apply EAD. The USCIS currently does not charge extra governmental fee for the EAD application. But again, this is subject to change. They may start to charge another separate governmental fee later for the EAD application. So some will ask, well, uh, I'm currently in the US on an F1 student visa, or on OPT, or on J1 visitors visa, or on H1B work visa, or O1 visa. Well, is there any difference in green card application? Well, the short answer is basically there's no difference with one exception for J1. If you are a J1 visa in the US, or if you held a J1 visa in the past, check the visa page on your passport and check the DS20194 to see whether you are subject to the two-year home country residence requirement. If you are, 
uh, you may have to stay two years in home country before receiving your green card. Or you can apply a waiver of the requirement. If you are not, then well, you can apply uh, and receive your green card without any problem. In any case, you can always apply NIW I-140 regardless of your visa category. It is the next step, the immigrant visa or the 485 that may require J-1 waiver and may require that you have legal status in the U.S. if you choose to file I-485. These are, I guess, mostly the frequently asked questions. Some other questions, uh, instead of about the steps, procedures, uh, it's about our service at New Women Law Group. For example, some will ask, well, do you help to respond to the IFE or notice of intention to deny? Yes, we do, with no extra fee. Some will ask, well, God forbid, what would happen if the case is denied? Well, if that happens, we can work with you to prepare and resubmit the application, no additional legal fee. Uh, you may need to pay the governmental fee. And this worked for some of the clients who are unlucky and whose case was denied in the beginning and approved later. Well, for the 485 and the consular processing, uh, will there be extra charge? We have described the charges by the government. Well, in our case, we provide sample documents and instructions for the 485 or consular processing with no additional fee. If you want us to prepare and file the 485 or consular processing, then we will charge an extra fee based on the size of the family. Then the final question is, well, uh, do I qualify for an IW? Uh, what is the likelihood of the approval? There is no universal answer. You need to email us your background information. Then we can provide a free assessment evaluation. And we can also discuss with you over the phone. And earlier we have discussed about like the time frame, how long it takes, how much it may cost, what are the common procedures, how do I add my family members, etc. And some may also have a question like, why should I choose New Way Ming Law Group? Well, check our website and also send us an email. Uh, we at New Women Law Group, we have helped thousands of professionals, researchers, scientists, engineers, physicians, etc., to receive their NIW green card. We have advantages over peers who believe that, uh, for example, I myself received my green card through NIW by applying before PhD graduation. And my co-workers also have their own experience uh, in PhD degree in science or engineering and in postdoc research in receiving their own green card through NIW or EB1. So we have personal experience and abundant knowledge in scientific research and in receiving the US green card based on the talent. We have already helped numerous applicants from all over the world, and we can help you too. Check our website for more information. And if you send us an email, we will send you the corresponding additional information. And as mentioned earlier, we will provide a free assessment of your case. If you have additional questions, send us an email. Thank you.